I am gonna show you how to download the musical memory songs from your email on your phone and put them into Cloud Beats. So first I'm gonna go into my email app and I'm gonna click under the right hand side where it says download and there's a column, I'm gonna click the songs. And you'll wanna repeat some of this process for the guide as well, but I like the songs on my phone and the guide on my computer. So I'm gonna click all songs. I'm gonna go ahead and use Safari. You can use whatever browser you have on your phone. Regardless of what you click, this screen might take a while to load. We have crazy fast internet in our house, so do not panic if your blue bar takes longer at the top. Just let it load, let it open, let it do its magic. And then I'm gonna click open in or whatever the equivalent of that is on your device. I really like to save it to my files. I just find it's the simplest to work with. So I'm gonna save it to my files and I'm gonna make sure that the top of my folder says on my iPhone. Um, I just, again, I think that's the easiest. I've tried this a lot of ways. So as long as the top says on my iPhone, I'm gonna hit save. And now I have to go find that file and open it. So I'm gonna search files open the files app at the top. As long as I am in on my iPhone, I should be able to see it right there. Even if you see it over here, um, go to on my iPhone. <laughs> I promise you that will be easier. So you're going to click the zip file so that it unzips and inside this folder are all the songs. So you have Bible, English, Latin, math, science, and then we've got this weekly album. Um, and we're going to put all of these folders in cloud beats. So now I'm gonna to go to Cloud Beats and you probably had to like log in or create an account or something. Um, I don't know where, what your home screen looks like right now, but whatever it looks like, click the hamburger menu and click offline so that the top says offline. And then over here in the upper left-hand corner, you have a download arrow. So you're gonna click that and click iCloud folders. Now I'm gonna make sure that the top black text says on my iPhone and I can see my folder, year two songs all. That's the same folder I unzipped before and here are all the other folders inside. So I'm gonna grab these folders one at a time, starting with the smallest, just to make sure it works. And there it comes. I'm gonna do it again. On my iPhone, open the folder, click English, open. Do it again. iCloud folders, on my iPhone, open the folder, choose Latin, hit open, okay? iCloud folders, oops, I'm gonna make sure it says on my iPhone at the top, open the year two songs folder and choose math, and then in the upper right hand corner, open. And again, science, one more time on my iPhone. This one's gonna take the longest, be patient. Year two weekly is a huge album or whatever year cycle you're on. Um, there you go. So now if you click into one of these, you should see all the songs. My favorite sort of view for just playing this is the albums view. And then on a week to week basis, I usually am in the weekly album and then I just choose the week that I'm on. So if I'm on week six, I play Isaiah week six. 53. Um, you do have the option to connect to iCloud, sorry, to Cloud Beats from a different source. You can go to this plus sign and connect like your Google Drive or your Dropbox and access all your files that way. So really quickly, if that's interesting to you, this is what I do for audiobook files that we own, like Story of the World, or we have a poetry program that has a CD with it. I sign in with the same Google account that has those folders, and then they just appear here. And so, you know, when I'm in home, it looks like this. When I'm offline, I've got my albums, but if I just go to my Google Drive, I've got this audio folder, and there are all these audio files that I use in my homeschool. So I really like using Cloud Beats for my audio home 